Hi everybody, good morning. Hi babes. Happy Monday. Hi. Hello, hello, I missed you guys. Did you have a good weekend? <clears throat> Sorry, I just woke up, so. Here we go. I mean, I woke up a little bit ago. Good morning. I'm back from my little vacay and ready for some love readings. Are you guys ready? I just released Aries. So if you're Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or you are dealing with an Aries, you can check out that reading on my YouTube channel at Sun, Moon, Pisces. Good morning. So who are we going to start with? Who's number one today? Who's number one? Air babies. Air babies get to go first. Did you guys see that view on my Instagram stories? I went away for a few days and stayed in a rental and it was super nice. The view of the water was amazing. If you guys saw it on my Instagram. Wasn't it pretty? Whoa, what the heck? <clears throat> Alright, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You guys are first. Earth signs, you guys are number two. Earth babies. Everybody tap in, get the collective in here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is number two. Number three. Who's number three? Fire babies. Aries, Leo, Sag, you guys are going to go third. And water babies were last. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <clears throat> Here we go. Collective reading at the end, like always. So stay until the end if you want advice from spirit, general advice. Do, do, do. Here we go. Wow, everybody's here already. Okay, here's the menu, babes. Look, we, we did dip nails, you guys. I had to give my nails a little break, so we got the shorties on. You guys like the shorties? <clears throat> there we go. And Suzanne sent me a new deck from my wish list. Thank you so much, Suzanne. You guys, we got a new Beach Time Soul deck. It's basically like this one, but large size. So we're going to use that today. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Susan. Susan sent it to me. Thank you so much, Susan. All right, here we go. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And anybody dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Air signs. You guys are first. Is everybody ready? Tap in. If you guys want to become a hottie, you can subscribe to my TikTok and become a hottie. You can buy badges and stuff now, so check that out if you're interested. You can see the people in the comment section that have done it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Spirit. What do we got for air signs? 
What's going on in love for my air signs? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Third party energy stress. Okay. Air babies are getting into it. We're ready. Spirit is ready. Let's go. Air signs. What do we have for air signs? Addiction and paradise. Okay. <clears throat> Get some tarot for my air babies spirit. Tell us what's going on with air babies. This should be what's going on or what's about to happen. In the near future, the chariot. Some of you are dealing with a cancer. Four of swords. Five of swords. And ten of swords. Damn. Air signs are going through it. Or you guys just went through some painful endings here <clears throat> some of you guys are blocking a person putting up a boundary with this person that you're dealing with there's a lot of challenges that have come up if you guys haven't ended it yet I, I do see an ending to this connection for those of you that this is for there's been third parties like outside influences that are interfering in the connection and causing issues and somebody's got their walls up now. <clears throat> like literally some of you guys are blocking this person or you blocked them on everything or you're not responding. If you need to flip the energy, if it's vice versa, flip it. But I'm just getting that there's a lot of issues, especially when it comes to other people interfering in this connection with you and this person. And things have been kind of falling apart it's it's coming to an end because it, it's not working the way that things are going is not going to work <clears throat> whoa damn okay geez that nine of swords came flying a lot of swords going on i feel like you guys are up in your head a lot of you have been emotional about this situation, up in your head, anxiety, not being able to sleep, really stressed out. I see a lot of stress, a lot of that 10 of wands energy is like things are weighing on you. It's like a hundred pounds on your shoulders because it hasn't been going well. I feel like you guys really want some balance because things have been way too imbalanced <clears throat> you're waiting for things to like go more smoothly. It's like shit has hit the fan. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Heavy Cancer, actually. But I'm just getting that, you know, one of you is definitely in your feelings. I do see like somebody that's been crying, somebody that's been anxious scared about the future ace of pentacles nine of wands wounded warrior energy pisces cancer scorpio and aries leo sag are coming through i feel like you guys were really attracted to this person there was a strong attraction there was a strong chemistry there was <clears throat> at one point things were really good but it's like shit hit the fan. There's a bunch of issues all of a sudden. If you guys block them, they want you to they they want you to unblock them, or they're trying to figure out a way to get through to you to try to connect with you again. So this person wants a new beginning after you've kind of pulled away.
And I feel like you guys... Like, you like this person, but there's been a lot of damage. A lot of damage has been done here. Like, I see a lot of disappointment in the way that things went. A lot of, like, I don't know if this is ever going to work. Or I don't want to deal with you anymore. Some of you guys just don't want to deal with the situation anymore. It's causing too much stress, too much issues. This person still has a lot of passion toward you, though. They're still having, like, romantic feelings toward you. They're still wanting to connect with you and, like, date you. <clears throat> Some of you, they want to give you something. They want to give you a gift or try to make it up to you what happened in the past. This person could, like, buy you something or offer to take you out. They're... Some of you, they're, they're just like trying to offer you something to get you to give them another chance. But yeah, you guys are in this energy of like, I don't know if I can deal with you. This, you're, you're stressing me the hell out. You've put me through a lot. I don't want to talk right now. I'm just, it's like you guys need some time or you're just feeling like this person has sabotaged things too much. <clears throat> or there's things from the past that you don't know if you can forgive. You don't know if you can move past it. Yeah, it's like you guys, you want to take a minute and think about things. Retreating and healing and trying to balance yourself out again. And But it's like you don't really know what to do. Or you don't know if what you're doing is the best decision. You don't want to regret the things that you're choosing right now. So it's like you just need a minute to think. So I'm getting like, <clears throat> give me some time. I don't know what I want to do. It feels a little bit unsure, but this person is still focused on you. They're still wondering what you're up to or if you're going to give them another chance or if, if you've taken their shit for the last time. What a shame. Yeah, it's like things did go well between the two of you at one point, but that's ended. And there's been drama or chaos. I definitely feel other people interfering with your connection, too. That third-party energy that was coming through when I was shuffling was really heavy. Like, outside influences. Even if it's just their friends, you know? Kind of influencing them to not in the best way. All right, Earth Babies, here we go. We are uh, all my mods are here. Thank you for being here and keeping everything chill in the chat. Thank you, thank you, mods. I love you, babes. Taurus Virgo Cappy, where you at? Holler if you hear me. Taurus Virgo Capricorn, what do we got? Earth Babies. Let's make it good for my Earth Babies. Three of Wands, waiting. You guys are waiting for something. Something that you want. Waiting for my order. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Here we go. What's going on with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn spirit? Lightning. That's the tower energy. Sudden change, shocking news, surprises, transformation. And you guys got addiction too. What the heck?
Let's get some tarot. Five of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. What the heck? <laughs> Knight of Cups. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I'm definitely getting that you guys have two people here that are interested in you romantically. I don't know if you're interested in them, but there are two people here coming through. So, um, whoever you're dealing with has competition or you got more than one option. Whoa, you could have three options. Or you're about to have three options. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah, there's competition for the people that you're dealing with. They have competition or they have competition coming in. If you haven't had options, you're about to have more options. Like you're going to meet somebody new. I see there's someone here that <clears throat> is a really good potential for a, a stable relationship. One of your options is, like, if you're looking for something serious and you're going to be able to feel it from them, that they could give you what you're looking for. I feel like one of these people, though, is almost um, obsessed with you. Like, they become obsessed with you. Or they already are. Like, they really want, they really like you. One of these options really, really sees a future with you and sees things getting serious. Like, some of you guys are getting serious very quickly with one of these people here. That could be, you know, like, things change. You, you're all of a sudden booed up after being single for a while. And somebody's getting jealous here, too, that you have other options. There's there's a person that really wants to come in and take what's mine. Like, they, they seem a little jealous, especially if they know that you have other people interested. Three of Wands. This is what you guys have been waiting for. Wow, the hair font. So, it feels like you guys might have been waiting for a while for for a solid, stable commitment that is an offer that you were looking for. Somebody that's, like, really interested in you and showing you a lot of affection and being really serious. Something that's leading to a higher level of commitment, marriage. This is Taurus energy too, so my Taurus babes are coming through really strong. And I feel like, yeah, this option, this person that is really good potential for a strong relationship in the future. They're the ones that's like super serious about you. They see you as a really good match. You guys... You guys are compatible for sure because they're a page of pentacles, knight of pentacles energy. Wanting to communicate with you, lots of messaging here, like wanting to talk, kind of being obsessed, like thinking about you all the time, wanting to go on dates. Knight of cups is somebody that is going to be asking you out romantic gestures like Let's see each other. I want to see you. I want to take you out. I want to spend time with you. I want to talk to you. It's a solid, stable new beginning. And they're like addicted to you. <laughs> and this other... Okay, so somebody's getting jealous here. You guys have another energy around here that's either jealous now or they're going to end up being really jealous of this connection that you're getting into. 
there's someone here that couldn't give you what you were looking for in the past or in the near future. They're like not making the cut. They're not, they didn't do what they needed to do or they were too slow. It's like things aren't working out with one of your options and they're going to end up regretting it. You're going to be the one that got away. You know what I mean? Temperance. Sagittarius energy. I like this connection, you guys. It feels very healthy and balanced and receptive. Like the person that you're dealing with here is very like matching your energy. They're putting in, if not the same amount of energy, they're putting in more than you. For some of you, they're making even more of an effort to get to know you, to have this serious foundation together. Things are getting serious, Earth Babies. And this person that it's not working out with, that, that you end up... Like, I feel like you don't choose this person, this other option. There's somebody that gets left behind when you move forward into this connection. And they're going to be up in their heads. It's, it's like a lot of regret. Regret for waiting too long. Regret for not taking the opportunity when they had it. Regret for being so stubborn. Some of them were really stubborn in the past. Some of them were dealing with other people and not committing to you and choosing you. Or you waited a long time for them. Like I see a lot of you guys in the past waiting for somebody. Or somebody wasn't giving you what you wanted. Now all of a sudden you're going to get this strong solid foundation that leads to marriage for a lot of you. And then this other person just ends up missing out. Sorry about your luck. That can be a karmic lesson. You know, that's a tough karmic lesson, but it's definitely a lesson for some people. You, you lose the one that you took advantage of. Your boyfriend passed away? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Ooh, that's horrible. Sending you lots of warm energy, babe. That's awful. All right, tap in and claim it, Earth Signs. Let's do fire signs. Fire babies. Aries, Leo, Sag, where are you at? Aries, Leo, Sag, and cross watchers that are dealing with our fiery, sexy fire signs. We love our fire signs, right? Aries, Leo, Sag. And cross watchers, if you're dealing with a fire sign, you guys can always cross watch. I'm going to, I promise you guys, in the next couple weeks, I'm going to do a live where I do each individual zodiac sign rather than the elements on one of these lives. So I promise I will. It's just going to take a long time. It'll be a pretty long live reading, so I got to do it on a specific day. Thank you so much, Lisa and Isabella. Thank you guys so much for the gifts and the roses. I appreciate that. Sending that energy back to you times 10, babes. Here we go. Aries, Leo, Sag. What do we got, spirit? Ascending. Kisses. I like this energy. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phases, preparing for union, unconditional love, giving and receiving affection, and falling in love. Holy cow. 
that's nice energy, you guys. It's a good start. Let's see. Let's get some tarot. Everybody's getting married. <laughs> the hair font. Everybody's getting booed up. It's cuffing season for my collective for sure. Some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus. The death card, Scorpio. Scorpio energy coming through. Seven of Wands. Well, yeah. You guys have been through it. Whoever this is for, you guys are entering a new phase where it's all downhill from here. So things have been like an uphill battle. You've had some really painful endings in the past. Some of you guys, like the person you thought you were going to be with forever, you ended up, it, not, it didn't work out, it ended. You guys have dealt with some mental, physical type of toxic relationships in the past that ended but it's like you're you're changing because of this or you're changed because of it you're the butterfly you guys went through a death rebirth a connection that you ended up having to let go of that was like really bad but you learned how to have stronger boundaries because of this and it's gonna push you into a better more healthier connection with somebody that is unconditionally loving. So I feel like in the past you were dealing with somebody that was loving you conditionally and being cold hearted toward you. So some of you, they would like, you know, um, withhold their love just to punish you or like, I definitely see a toxic relationship that you had, that you went through to kind of prepare you for union for the real thing. And teach you how to have stronger boundaries and like um, have more love and respect for yourself. And I, I yeah, it's like you, you might have been putting in a lot more in the past into your past relationships and not getting that reciprocated to you. Some of you had, you know, weak boundaries. Or you were putting in too much and letting the people in the past kind of take advantage or putting up with things, the tower. Yeah, something didn't work out for you, but it was for the best. Like, spirit came through and blew up the foundation that you were once building on. And you guys might have been like, whoa, what the hell? What's going on? But it was meant to send you through this awakening and this, this new phase. To prepare you for the real deal. Real true love. A lot of you, the person in the past was like very stubborn and un they were not kind to you is what I just heard. They were unkind. Ooh, the emperor. Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, King of Swords. This past person was cold hearted and might have knocked you down, like knocked you to your knees for a lot of you, broke your heart, mental abuse, cold hearted. He's a cold hearted snake. But it was, it was, um, it happened for a reason, you know, like, you guys are going to find the lesson or you already found the lesson in dealing with this person. It's transforming you and helping you learn from the past from dealing with this toxic situation that ended. And then here you go. You got an emperor around you. You got like somebody that will unconditionally love you around your energy. Somebody that will work well with you. 
and that will give you and put in a giving and receiving affection. So they're going to put in and match your energy, you know. It won't be so one-sided. It won't be you, you know, putting in all the effort and trying to make things work. They're going to make it work with you and you guys work well together. And part of it is because now you have these stronger boundaries and protect yourself more. And so you're drawing in this more healthy, stable foundation because your energy has changed. So what you will accept and what you won't accept is changing. So spirit's going to bring you more of what you want, you know, when you settle and you go, yeah, okay, universe, I'll take that BS crumbs. Or I'll take that connection that isn't exactly what I want, but I'll settle for it. You're telling spirit and the universe, whatever you call it, that, that that's what you want. But you guys are like, I don't want this. You're making it clear what you want. So it's being brought to you because you're not accepting anything less. And you're learning from the past. You guys aren't doing things the same anymore. You're not repeating these patterns that were getting you into these situations in the first place. You're transcending obstacles and learning from the past, which is helping you expand and enter a new phase where you find true love, unconditional love with somebody that gives it back to you equally. Oh, that's cute. Oh, how cute. Fire babies. This person's got very masculine energy for a lot of you. You got, you got a strong masculine coming in that is like stable, solid, stable, trustworthy, taking control of the situation. They have strong morals. They stay in their integrity. I feel like you guys were dealing with somebody in the past that was not like that. All right. Tap in and claim it, fire babies. Water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's our turn. Are you guys excited? Are you ready? Are you ready to hear this? Here we go. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Tap in. Hi, babes. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much for the roses. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Make it good, spirit. Give us some good news. We here. We're ready, spirit. This is going to be uploaded to YouTube. If you guys want to rewatch this live, you can give me some time to get it uploaded, but it will be on my YouTube channel. Here we go. Are we coughing too? You know? <laughs> Woo! Abundance. Yes, honey. Keep a positive mindset. Manifesting exactly what you want. Being grateful for what you have. And feeling bliss, baby. seduction okay bliss and seduction that sounds sexy attraction flirting dating hooking up hopefully not third party interference i'm not feeling that i'm feeling like this is this is nice kitty purr make that kitty purr <laughs> You guys are like jackpot, hermit, Virgo energy, five of pentacles. If you guys were having issues with money, you're not going to be having issues with money anymore. Yeah, if, if you're a water sign that's been dealing with like not feeling like you have enough, you're about to manifest abundance when it comes to finances. 
Yes, getting that bag and, and some big dick daddy energy as well. <laughs> oh no, you guys are getting seduced by big dick daddy. Uh-oh, I'm getting hot. It's getting sweaty in here. Sexy attraction. Okay, this is good. You guys are going to be spending some alone time flirting with big dick daddy. Somebody you're super attracted to. Somebody that you have a lot of passion toward. You guys are having a good time alone, dating, flirting, have a little make-out sesh, little smush room action. It looks like you've been alone for a while. Or you've been spending a lot of time alone lately. You're about to have somebody there with you. All right, 555 is coming through. There's lots of changes. I feel like your love life hasn't been super spicy for a lot of you, but it's about to spice up, spicing things up with this King of Wands. He could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but he's just like a hottie. He's making, he's getting you guys going, making that kitty purr. But yeah, um, there, I do feel like some of you have another energy lingering around you from the past as well that m it didn't go well with. Could have been somebody that ghosted you around you or somebody that you guys stopped talking to. It didn't work out with. There's someone else's energy here. Five, five, five. Big changes, water signs. Big changes in your love life. I feel like this person that you're spending this alone time with or dating or, you know, have a little hookup. <laughs> they're making you feel good. Like, they're making you feel really good. They're making you feel confident, making you feel sexy, you know? Five of Pentacles again. What is that? You guys, there's a strong energy of somebody else. Like it's, there's somebody else here and they're going to end up feeling, it's like they left you out in the past or maybe cut you off or ghosted you in the past and now you guys are doing it to them. For this new person, for some of you, we are getting 555 five, five really strong. It's like you're changing who you're dating or you're changing what you're doing and the past is going to feel it. Judgment. Yeah, you guys are done with the past. And the past is going to feel feel you moving on. They're feeling it. It could actually end up making them wake up. This is the same type of energy that was coming through for was it air signs or earth signs? It's like once you move on, it kind of puts this past person that you were dealing with, it causes them to go through an awakening or have an epiphany about things. Like they realize things once you're gone, once they lose out on their chance with you. But I'm getting that some of you, like they did that to you before. So it's, it's coming back around. What goes around comes around. Or they used to do this to other people in the past. Whatever it is, it's like it's their karma. And you guys are kind of the catalyst for that. Yeah, you're walking away. Five of Swords, you're walking away for something better. Ten of Swords, it's going to make this past person have a lot of regrets. And almost feel like they weren't, they weren't expecting this. Yeah, full circle. They weren't expecting you to move on for a lot of you or you're walking away and causing a painful ending for somebody but it's it's making them wake up okay it's making them more self-reflective too but you guys are getting everything you want i feel you blocking somebody else out or being totally done with the past leaving the past in the past you guys are like i don't like reheating McDonald's fries, I'm going to throw that shit away and start with a whole new, you know, like, you're not recycling your leftovers, you're done. You're 
you're walking away from the past. Five, 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 five. Big changes. And you making this change is causing change for the person in your past as well. Okay. Tap in and claim it. You guys are like, can I sit on your lap? You guys are going <laughs> to be getting it in. Ooh, water signs. Tap in and claim it if it's yours. With that sexy energy. Thank you, Lisa. Collective. Sagittarius. My Sag babes are coming through for the collective. What do we have for everybody, Spirit? What's coming? What's going on with my collective? The whip. The grasshopper. The world. Some of you guys are talking online. Third party energy and the whip. Okay. Moving on. Okay. All right. So this is for a group of you that is closing out a cycle and not dealing with this third party situation, somebody put you in a third party situation and you're trying to move on or you're not happy with the way things are going. I see you guys like fighting about or ending a connection because of someone else's influence, outside parties, another person being involved, causing tension, causing fights, causing arguments, causing things to fall apart. Yeah, not getting the balance from this connection. So you guys are moving on and closing out this cycle. I see you guys um, talking to somebody online or the person you're talking to is talking to other people online. You're going to know if this is for you. This is for a specific person here. It's like trying to move on because you know that the person you were dealing with, which who you might have had like hot, some hot kinky sex with, um, or like, you know, a, a very passionate sex life, that toxic devil dick energy. But they're dealing with other people too. And I feel like whoever this is for, you guys know the person that you're dealing with is dealing with other people and you either need to stop engaging or you are already doing that, putting up boundaries, restricting this person from being able, like, don't allow them to do this to you. It's a choice whether you engage in it or not. And a lot of you guys know this. If you know it, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people that don't know. Stop engaging. <laughs> if you're unhappy with the way things are and you don't want them to put you in a third party situation, pull out. You need to dig out. You have the choice to walk away and put up that boundary. Don't keep engaging with them expecting that it's going to change because I'm seeing that whoever this is for, this person isn't going to change if you're sticking around and just putting up with it. And I see that this situation is making you mad. Like it's angering you. This isn't what you want. You need to walk away. If it's not, if they're not giving you what you want, stop accepting it. Sorry, babe. Just got to drag you for a second. If it's meant for you, it's going to work out. You know, the things that are meant for you, they don't necessarily come easy, but they end up working out. And I see this situation, you guys can try and try and do different things, but it's not changing anything. Like you can't change this person. The only thing you have control over is your boundaries and whether you're engaging in this or not. That's all, that's like the only choice you have and that sucks, but it's, it is what it is. A lot of you, you're dealing with somebody that is like 
causing a lot of issues and they don't care, you know, they're doing things that are causing damage and that hurts you and causes issues and they're, they're still continuing to do it. And they're well aware that it's, you know, hurting you or making it so that things aren't working out between the two of you. They know what they're doing. Let's get a crystal card. Chrysocola, start fresh. All right, so whoever this is for, you guys need to let go, close out this cycle, and be open to something new. Because this person that you're engaging with isn't going where you want it to go. It's not going anywhere good. Start fresh. Um, clear your energy so that you can allow other energy to come in. Okay, I'm going to read to you. It's time to start fresh. Close the door behind you so that you can move forward and open a new one. Every day is a blank canvas, an opportunity to boldly go after the things in life that you want and leave behind anything that you don't. I can't make this shit up, you guys. <laughs> Spirit is channeling. Woo! You do not need to settle for the status quo or accept what already is. Don't accept crumbs. Don't accept the situation for whoever this is for. You, you deserve better. Okay, hold on. I'm like in between pages. You have the power to change your life and do things different every day. So accept the things that you cannot change and change the things you can. That's what we were talking about here with your boundaries and whether you engage or not is basically the control that you have. You can't control what this other person is doing. So you have the power to change your life and do things differently every day. It's time to live by an out with the old, in with the new and beautiful mentality. What areas of your life are calling for a fresh start and what can you say goodbye to and what can you welcome into your life? An affirmation for you is I welcome the opportunities each new day brings. All right. And if you have any of this chrysocolla crystals, make sure you touch it on your skin and absorb the energy. Because this would be helpful for you. If you have a local crystal shop, you can pick up, you can pick these up there, I'm sure. All right, babes. I hope that was helpful for whoever it was for. And I will see you next time on the next live. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's good to see you, babes, again. I know it's been a few days. I'll be back again soon. I'm going to get this uploaded to YouTube so you guys can rewatch it if you want. And thank you, everybody that hung out. Thank you, everybody that sent gifts and everything. All my mods. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, thank you. I love you, babes. Mwah. I'm sending you guys air kisses. Bye, guys.